When trying to decide how to uh, solve a quadratic equation, we first want to see if we can factor it. If we can factor it, that's going to be the easiest way to solve it. So we're going to look at the third term, the constant term here, which is 8. And we want to see if factors of 8 will add up to 6. So note that 8 can be written as 1 times 8, but also as 2 times 4. And 2 times 4, 2 and 4, do actually add up to 6. So we can use those as factors and rewrite our quadratic as follows. x plus 4 times x plus 2, and that's all equal to 0. All I'm doing here is rewriting this. This and this mean exactly the same thing. They're completely equivalent. And if I were to FOIL it, so multiply x times x, 4 times 2, etc., I would see that's easy, equal to exactly the same thing. But in this factored form, it's easier to find the solution because anything which makes this 0 or makes this 0 makes the whole thing 0. Therefore, our potential answers are x equals negative 4 or negative 2. If I plug a negative 4 into here, this whole thing becomes 0. If I plug a negative 2 into here, this becomes 0. Therefore, each of these are potential solutions. Now, just to show how this works, I can take the negative 4 and plug it into my original equation. So this is just substituting negative 4 for x, and this is substituting negative 2 for x. So if I do that, this is equal to negative 4 squared is a positive 16, because what it means is negative 4 times negative 4, hence positive 16, plus uh, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, and plus 8. 16 plus 8 is equal to 24, minus 24, so it is equal to 0, as was our original equation up here. So this does check out. And if I quickly look at the other one here, negative 2 squared is 4, plus 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 plus 8, and that's 4 plus 8 is 12. Take away 12, and I'm going to get 0 again. So the two solutions to this are x can either be negative 4 or negative 2. And this all started because we were able to factor 8. That's the first thing you should try when you're trying to solve a quadratic equation. There are definitely other ways to do it, but this is probably the easiest once you get the hang of it. Thank you very much.